Good morning, folks. I'm Abel Zill. Uh, this is Ask Zill Live. It's my uh, live stream, which is a question and answer session. Um, I don't think I've always made that really clear, but um, if you are on the YouTube, if, you, if you're accessing this from YouTube, there's a chat over on the side, and uh, you can text me your, or you can shoot me your questions, and I will see them pop up. So, um, without further ado, let's get started. Um, today, I have decided to talk about windows and doors. I've been asked about windows and doors frequently, um, and uh, I build windows and doors, and I have also installed lots of made windows and doors. In my life as a builder, I've been building for about 20 years. I've been building tiny houses for 10 years. So, I've put in a lot of windows and doors. Um, so, first off, I would like to approach this from the direction of, that you as a do-it-yourselfer would. And that is, you probably want to know like what the best places to get windows and doors for your project are. And they can, there, there's a variety of ways to do that. Um, you know, simplest, honestly, simplest avenue for just purely functional windows and doors is like to go to the box store and get a vinyl window. Vinyl windows are, are functional. They, they, they work. Um, they're not the most beautiful, um, so people often want other things. Wood windows uh, or windows that have dividers and frames um, or windows that are, have colors. Vinyl kind of comes in white, although they're starting to make them in different colors. Um, so uh, you can go to a box store and get uh, windows and doors, uh, and if that's all you have around, then I would kind of recommend that because it's the easiest way to go. Um, I'll uh, show you something that I've got here. Uh, here is a, a reclaim window. Um, I don't have a box store window in my shop. I don't keep them around. But here is a, um, oh, zero. Uh, a reclaim window. Um, I can use a little joystick to let you have a look at it. Um, this is a really sweet wood window. It's clad. And I'll kind of explain the terms as I bring them out. Clad means it's got a, a covering on the outside. It's either fiberglass or aluminum usually. And the covering um, protects the wood from weather. So it basically makes it lower maintenance. Um, this window's dusty. Let me um, brush it off. There we go. I found my brush. It's right over here. My... Uh, Air hose is hissing, so I'm gonna see if I can unplug it. Oh my gosh, this thing! <laughs> there we go. What is that? Um, so let's see. Reclaim. Uh, this is a really tall window, and that is great. It um, is operable. It has a screen that's uh, taped in. But, um, oh wow. Okay, I can't get to the latches right now because the screen hinges on the wrong side. But, um, it, uh, it opens and closes. So that's called an operable window. A window that doesn't open and close is called a fixed window. Um, but, um, this is a, actually a good reclaim find. Um, it has its flanges, which are, um, I'll bring you over so you can see them. Um, flanges are these, um, they're metal or plastic these days, and they are attached to the side of the window frame. This is a frame, and the part that opens and closes or that contains the glass is called the sash. So, um, glass, sash, frame, flange, and you typically hang the window, and hanging refers to the process of installing it in your structure. Um, you hang it by um, mounting it with the with screws or nails, actually are valid, through the flange. Um, I won't hang a window for you today because I kind of don't have the setup to do it. But, um, oh, I've got, I've got people. Okay, I will answer those questions in just a moment. Thank you guys for coming on and asking me questions. Um, but um, but this is a this is a window that's in good shape. Uh, 
it's um, it, you don't worry if the if it looks out of square because you square the frame when you hang it. But um, you know, so it's just it's it's flexible for now. But when you put it in the house, you you fix it to square. You use a square and or levels to do that. Again, maybe I'll I'll do that in another um, Ask Zill. I'll just hang a complete window from from the start to the finish. Um, but you know, I'm just looking for it to. I'm looking for no damage, and uh, I got this from a salvage place in Seattle uh, called Ballard Reuse. They're wonderful people. Um, you and, and with insulated glass, that's the the double pane units. I can see you can see the dividers, and there's like two two sections of glass. You're looking for um, sometimes in reclaims the glass uh, has water inside, and if that's the case, it means the seal's broken, and you would need to replace it. And if that is the case, uh, that reclaim window might not be worth your trouble. Okay, coming back, coming back. So, um, so that's a good, a good quality reclaim, and I think I got that for like 40 bucks or something. Um, again, prices vary widely. Um, don't spend too much for reclaim stuff because you typically, and here's the reason, you typically have to do a little bit of work to get it to a condition that you can put it in your house. So like a brand new window is ready, like you can unwrap it, the cardboard off the side, whatever the packaging is, and you can put it right in the side of your house um, without any additional work. And that is a big thing when you're a do-it-yourselfer and you haven't done this before. Um, so um, I'll take a couple of questions and then I'll go on. But reclaims, and I'd be happy to answer your questions about finding good reclaims. Um, it's, it's not easy to find good reclaim window and doors. Um, it is and it isn't. There's lots of them out there, but it's not easy to find ones that don't give you more work than they're worth. <laughs> so don't spend too much for them. That's, that's my, my general rule of thumb. Um, so uh, first question is by Virkelgeren. Pardon me if I didn't say that quite right. Verkelligeden. Try it once more. I'm not going to try it again. <laughs> Thank you for writing. In cold countries, and they ask, in cold countries, how do you get good insulation with windows and doors? Well, here is my, pardon my eyebrows, they're wild this morning. Um, here is my feeling about insulation. It is relatively easy to insulate your structure that you're building to our... 20, our, our 13 would be like two by four walls, generally, unless you're using a different kind of insulation, like a SIP or a foam, uh, uh, the right type of foam, different kinds of foam have different insulated values. Um, but it's easy to insulate your structure to a high insulated value. Windows, however, are typically no higher than like R3. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong, there are some really amazing like triple pane, but they're extremely expensive um, with like filled with argon and stuff like that. Um, but a standard insulated unit is with low E coating. Um, and I'll, I'll talk about low E in a few minutes. And I'll give you guys some um, resources to uh, find windows online. There are some really good window manufacturers in the northern uh, US, North America, I should say. Um, and sorry if I don't have good resources for outside of this country, um, but there are some really good windows in other parts of the world as well. Um, but uh, I'll give you some North American resources in the, the links after this video goes up and processes. Um, so um, and some of my favorites in North America are like Milgard Manufacturing makes great windows. Um, they make wood windows. Um, that's why I kind of like them. Uh, there's uh, out west here, there's Simpson Doors. Um, and, and like I said, I'll, I'll list these in the, the bio. And there's, there's some other really good manufacturers out there of windows and doors. Um, and again, really good windows tend to cost a bit. Um, uh, so, uh, insulation of glass is not that much. So, here's the funny thing. The, the more windows you put in your house, the, the, the more you're going to lose heat because that is insulated far less than the walls themselves are. There's not really a, a, a good way around that unless you're buying really high-end glass. Um, and those can cost thousands of dollars per window, so keep that in mind. Um, so less windows, but the other trick that people have done from time immemorial is to, to cover your windows at night, so like heavy drapes, but often they have to seal against, you know, they have to like sit on the sill of the window to keep um, convective flow from going, but e even then heavy drapes will help uh, 
significantly when it's really cold. So, you know, usually you don't need to worry about that too much unless you're below freezing for long periods of time, which there are lots of places where that happens in the winter. Okay, um, I'm going to go on and take a couple more questions. Uh, Kraken2000 asks, do you sell your round windows by themselves? I do actually uh, sell a la carte round windows. Um, right now, it, it, that actually, a round window that I build is a four sash window. Um, usually I do two of the sashes opening and two fixed, but I, I could do a special one with, um, let me see if I have any pieces of round window around here. Um, I think it already got hung. I'll, here, I'll just show you. I've got a round window frame. Sashes aren't cut yet in the house that's right around the corner here. Um, so here we go. my messy shop. There's a lot going on. Um, here's one of my round windows. It's 52 inches across. Right behind the ladder. Um, wood frame, uh, a laminated plywood epoxy coated ring, and then um, solid wood exterior trim. Um, I can just hold you outside and look back at it. How about that? <laughs> anyway, so so this, this is the round window. Um, I'm getting crazy with the camera here. Um, we have solid uh, wood trim, and uh, we did a, a bevel siding on this house. And we haven't cleaned up the, the glue lines and stuff yet, so this window still has some finish ready to go. All right, let's head back in. This is a fortune cookie. I haven't built one of these in years, but um, it's a really cool design. Um, phenomenally strong house. Uh, I think you could stand it on its head, and it would be just 